William P. Beetham had a surprising idea. He and his colleagues at Jocelyn Diabetes Center's Beetham Eye Clinic, including son-in-law Lloyd M. Aiello, had noticed that eyes with previous retinal scarring rarely got proliferative diabetic retinopathy. What if, they thought, we scar the retina on purpose with a laser? And so back in those days, about 50 to 60% of the patients could go blind from diabetic eye disease. The advent of the laser uh, changed that dramatically. So the panretinal laser photocoagulation was developed by Dr. Beetham and Dr. Aiello working together here at the Joslin. And that uses a laser beam, a very highly focused beam of light that shines into the back of the eye and actually causes little scars, very, very small scars in many areas of the retina. This radical treatment was originally met with angry resistance in the eye care community, some going as far as calling it malpractice. But the undeniably positive results soon put an end to the controversy. Often with as few as one to three laser treatments, over 95% of severe vision loss could be prevented. This Jocelyn pioneered treatment became the standard of care for diabetic retinopathy for more than 40 years. But the treatment was not without drawbacks. We were actually destroying areas of retina to save the center part of the retina where most of the vision is, where your sharp vision is. And so there were some side effects that went along with that. <clears throat> the side effects included the fact it was more difficult to see at night, it was more difficult to see in your peripheral vision out to the side, um, and it was very difficult going from a bright room in, into a dark room, things like that. Uh, but that was part of the treatment. We couldn't get around that, but that was a very good trade-off to keep your center vision and remain functioning. While laser helped preserve the vision of people with diabetic retinopathy for decades, researchers were on the hunt for something more, something that could improve vision.